Dr. Julio Romero Guaro is Vice President of Strategy and Business Innovation at Quanta Technology. He has 25 years of experience providing leadership to Quanta Technology in the areas of technology and business strategy, innovation, grid modernization, distribution systems planning, reliability, resiliency, and integration of distributed energy resources and emerging technologies. He has developed solutions in these areas for electric grid utilities and regulatory boards in the USA, Canada, Latin America, the Caribbean, and Asia. He is a senior member of IEEE and currently serves as vice president of membership and image in the IEEE PES governing board. He has served as the chair of the IEEE distribution subcommittee, chair of the IEEE working group on distributed resources integration, editor of IEEE transactions on power delivery, and editor of IEEE transactions on smart grid. He is an adjunct professor at the University of North Carolina in Charlotte. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, thank you for inviting me. It's a pleasure to be here. The questions for this week's episode are provided by IEEE, P-E-S-N-E-D-U-E-T, a student group in Pakistan. And their first question is, considering that the renewables sources can't provide reliable energy due to unfavorable conditions like low wind pressure and cloudy weather, what can we realistically do to get off fossil fuels as soon as possible? Well, that's a, that's a great question. And um, I think that they are referring to the variability um, of renewables, the, the most uh, popular ones, um, wind generation and also solar generation. As we know, this is variable or intermittent renewable generation. And, and that is a challenge. Integration in, in the uh, power system, in power systems in general, is, is challenging. So there are two, uh, two perspectives here. The, the first angle is uh, what do we do short term? So what we are trying to do, of course, is uh, to transition into this uh, clean energy world. It doesn't have to be 100% renewables. We need to make, we need to make that, um, uh, that clear. It can be 100% uh, clean. So that means we are going to reduce emissions. Um, but it doesn't have to be 100% renewables. So short term, what we um, what we should do is um, um, to try to what, what we call firm up that variable renewable generation. How do we do that? We can use uh, storage, energy storage. There is a challenge there as well. And the challenge is that long term or long duration energy storage is still uh, expensive and there are some technology challenges uh, that, that need to be addressed. But still, I think that with the, the existing technology, there is a possibility to integrate, we are doing it already, to integrate this uh, variable renewable generation using energy storage, along with uh, transition technologies. And natural gas is one of those. It is not necessarily 100% clean, but it's uh, certainly a lot cleaner than some of the, the traditional coal-based um, and heavy fuel oil generation. So um, those two are our solutions that we are using. Um, besides that, we are also trying to use uh, advanced um, inverters to, um, to so, so, so renewable generation has the ability to provide some of the services that traditional generation um, is able to provide. So, so that's short term. Now, long term, something that we haven't discussed, I think enough in, in our industry, is the uh, the possibility of re-envisioning the, the grid, re-envisioning the power system. Um, the reason why we are using energy storage, the reason why we are using um, natural gas is because um, traditionally the, the power system was designed based on large central uh, generating stations, with synchronous machines with um, uh, inertia, able to provide inertia. Uh, in the future, if we get rid of those uh, synchronous machines and everything is power electronics inverter based, we need to think about new ways to plan and design the grid. Um, and, and that is something that, that yeah, we need, to, we need to spend more time doing. And, and since this is provided by students, I would say that's a great area for those who are interested in, uh, for instance, uh, doing a, a PhD dissertation or a master's, a grad students, I think that that's a, that's a great area to explore. <music>